and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Rombaldes Marcos, Jr. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Secretary Fred Pascual, for your introduction. Uh, Her Excellency the Ambassador of the United States of America to the Philippines, Mary Kay Loss Carlson. Madam, I'm very happy to see you here because this, when we, when I first, when we first spoke, uh, this is, and when I talked about the partnerships that, that need to be forged for uh, the future. This is precisely the kind of partnership that I meant. And I hope that we will promote this sort of partnership between our two countries on a bilateral and a multilateral uh, basis. Uh, and I see this very much as the way forward. Thank you very much for being involved in this. The esteemed members of the diplomatic corps, the other members of the cabinet, and of course, uh, the Go Negocio founder, Joey Concepcion III, Fellow wor workers in government, all our friends, the big brothers from the private sector, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. For more than two years, the COVID-19 pandemic has colored our view of the future. It has clouded our sight of that clear future as it brought unprecedented challenges that enormously changed our lives. Our economies all took a hit. Businesses were forced to rethink how they could survive this global health crisis and emerge stronger in the aftermath. Now, as we navigate these uncharted waters of a post-pandemic world, we take small but firm steps towards recovery and progress. Today, is a great opportunity not only to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but also to finally break through into the sunlight. I am thus delighted to be part of the launching of this year's Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, or MSME Summit, which is an app platform where we can tackle the strategies on how to revitalize our MSMEs under the new normal. Our MSMEs form part of the backbone of our economy, generating more than half of our employment. And this is why it is fully recognized that this sector's critical role in our country's economic regeneration, job creation, and poverty reduction is critical. As your president, I assure you that the revitalization of our MSMEs is among the administration's top priorities. I reiterate the government's full commitment to work hand in hand with all stakeholders to make certain that MSMEs are protected and provided with ample opportunities, not only to recover from these extraordinary times, but to grow and thrive in this modern age. I commend, of course, Go Negocio, the Department of Trade and Industry, and the U.S. Embassy in the Philippines, and all the other partners behind the success of this event. You are our reliable allies and partners in paving a richer path for collaboration and innovation in the business sector. My hope remains high for this endeavor. And I say that because I listened to the founder of Go Negocio, uh, Joey Concepcion, as he made his speech. And I know that this will succeed because it comes from the right place in his heart. It comes from the light place in all the big brother's heart. It comes from a place that wants to help Filipinos, that wants to make the Philippines a better place, that wants to improve the lives of every Filipinos. And so it is so important to recognize that the big brothers of the 100 beneficiaries who are here, who are here today, and of all the others that you have helped, think 
how much lives have changed because of your kindness, because of your care, because of your love for your fellow Filipino. And that is why I know this will succeed. I know that it will be an, an avenue for the government and private sector to find ways to work together, ensuring and enabling a sound environment for the recovery of our MSMEs. I am pleased that the focus of the MSME Summit, our post-pandemic recovery and the promotion of digitalization are aligned with the priorities of the administration for we have a common view of our shared future the future that we as Filipinos will share together. So I express my support for the MSME Development Council led by the DTI as it formulates and implements strategic goals to improve five key business areas, namely our business climate, the access to finance, management and labor, access to technology and innovation, and of course, access to market. This multidimensional approach will allow us to breathe new life into our MSMEs and help them move forward to a more resilient and prosperous future. Ladies and gentlemen, and all our beloved MSMEs, I once again give my utmost assurance and commitment that your government is here to help you level up and succeed, especially during these difficult times. We will harness the strengths of various sectors to ensure a more cohesive government approach in creating a more sustainable environment for our MSMEs and all our important stakeholders. The past two years have certainly been difficult, but they only show how strong we are as a nation. Now is the time to come up with these pandemic-proof strategies that will allow our businesses to take wing and serve its consumer base with quality products and services. Indeed, the success of our MSMEs is crucial to fortifying the foundation of our economy. From this end, it is my assurance we will continue to stand by your side, walk down the same road no matter the circumstances. I am excited to see the outcome of the summit as it will open new doors and new strategies and new ideas and opportunities for our MSMEs to realize their full potential as our nation's vehicles for growth and for development. From this summit and beyond, let us show the world the myriad of possibilities that our MSMEs are able to come up with, to see that uh, those that will demonstrate not only the spirit of our solidarity, but of Filipino ingenuity and resourcefulness and excellence. Once again, I am delighted to join you today. Thank you very much for your kind invitation. At mabuhay tayong lahat. Thank you very, very much, Mr. President, for that very encouraging message. May we now request you to please Proceed center stage as the private sector shares its commitment to your administration to collaboratively support the overall goal of shared prosperity and achieving inclusive economic growth for the Philippines. At this point, we would like to request the private sector signatories to please stand up for the Pledge of Commitment. And taking the lead in presenting our president with a pledge, Mr. Joey Concepcion. Thank you very much for presenting this commitment 
to President Ferdinand Romualdo Marcos Jr. Thank you, Mr. Joey Concepcion, Her Excellency Carlson, and DTI Secretary.